So guys, just like with the warm-up, also really important to stretch off afterwards. Even though a lot of the workouts that I've put up here for you to look at are very short exercises and not going to be an hour load of um, cardio or anything, it's still really important. Your muscles are going to be working very hard doing the routines that I've put together. So really key that you take that four or five minutes at the end just to stretch your muscles off. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to just show you some standing stretches. A lot of you guys are going to be quite busy um, and not necessarily in a position where you can just lie down on your sitting room floor. You probably get jumped on by a child or a dog or whatever. I know that's what happens to me. So I'm going to show you some standing stretches um, for you to have a look at. So first, after your workout, we want to stretch out your hamstring. That's the big muscle that runs down the back of your thigh. So the hamstrings, to get this stretch, I want you just to put one foot slightly in front of the other and you're going to bend the back leg and stick your bum out. So imagine you're actually sitting down onto something. And then I want you to actually physically tilt your pelvis up towards the ceiling. And that, even if you're quite flexible, you should feel that activating stretch just here. Okay, I don't want you to lean your weight on that straight leg. You're going to put too much pressure on the knee. So keep your weight on the bent leg or hands on the hips. And then you'll change legs. For each of these, again, you're holding for about 10 to 15 seconds. Just there, and let me show you side angle again. Bum goes back, tilt the hips up, and you should feel that there. That leg's straight, other leg is bent. Okay, that's your hamstrings. Next, to stretch out your thighs, the quads. Really important. You might need to balance for this if you're a bit wobbly. You're going to grab hold of one foot, bring your heel up to your bum. Okay, so just so you can see that sideways on. Heel up to bum. Make sure that your knees are together. If you've got one knee out to the side, again, you're putting a lot of unnecessary strain on your knee joint. I want you to push your hips forward so that you really activate the stretch. And if you're very bendy, you can just bring that knee back a little bit further to increase the stretch. You do that on both legs. Then, for your calf muscles, you're going to take a really big step forward. Make sure the other leg is a long way behind you, almost in a lunge position. Keep your back leg straight and I want you to push that heel down to the floor and then just take your body weight forward over the front leg which is bent. Crucial thing here guys is that your back foot is parallel to the front foot and that you are pointing forwards. If that leg's out on an angle, you aren't going to feel that stretch in your calf muscle. Okay, so just keep here, nice straight line through the body, leaning your weight forward and then you'll change legs. Again, big step back, push the heel down as far as you can and you should feel that really stretching off in your calf muscles. Okay. After that, to stretch out your quads, uh, you know, I've done your quads already, to stretch out your glutes, this one you probably do need to hold on to something unless you've got very good balance. I want you to cross one ankle over onto the opposite knee and you're going to sit back down and hold on here. Okay. So you're just pushing your weight down. Imagine you're trying to sit down. You should feel the stretching right across the bottom bending there. This is a great stretch for those bum muscles and then you'll do the same on the other side, cross the leg over and sit down. There are options for lying down to do this, I'll show you them in another video. There you go, good. Then to, chest, uh, to stretch out your chest you're going to reach behind you and squeeze the elbows together. So all I'm doing there is bringing my shoulder blades together, trying to get my elbows to meet behind my back, opening up the muscles in the chest. That's good there. And finally, triceps. You're going to reach behind you and just have a little push from the front, or you can push overhead, like so, and the same on the other side. And that should leave you nicely stretched off. And always just finish with a little rotation through the body, and just make sure those shoulders are relaxed and down. And then you're good to go and get on with whatever you've got to get on with.